will be mandating masks for the upcoming school year. The district made the announcement in the last few hours. Masks will be required for both students and staff indoors when social distancing is not possible. Now, when students are in the classroom, seated three feet apart, masks can be removed. The order will take effect tomorrow. We checked back in with a family that said if there is a mandate, they will keep their son home to learn virtually. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live after speaking with that family today. Layla, the family told you this is not a decision that should be made by the school district. Yeah, Deb, so I got to sit down with the family today and they told me they want to be free to make their own choices about their children. And because of this, their son will not be attending North Elementary this upcoming school year. I had COVID this many times. Why are you so against the mask and the vaccinations that are supposed to keep people safer from COVID? If you give up your freedom to do and be who you want to be, then you're not free. Jared Payman, who has had COVID-19 in the past, told me he does not think masks stop the spread of the virus. Just be the parent's choice. There should be no question about it. Um, other people shouldn't get to make that choice for us. And if they feel better with their child being in a mask, then that can be their child's indiv you know, individualism, yeah. but it will not be mine. Brittany Gibson and Jared Payman have a five-year-old son who will enter kindergarten this year. With a mask mandate in place, they will keep their son home to be homeschooled. I'm not asking you to take your mask off your child. I'm simply asking that my child not be masked for my own beliefs, for the way I know him to be. Payman has concerns that masks will affect his son's ability to socialize. Tucker loses that expression. I mean, we express ourselves through our face, through our body language, and that mask just here, it affects all of that. Payman and Gibson originally disagreed about sending their kids to school while the pandemic was still going on. I feel about it is just send them back to school and let's get back on with life. I totally disagree with that. I. From a security standpoint, it's a terrible thing to do. And if you send them back, you know, remember Fauci, let's flatten that curve. We're not flattening anything. We're going to escalate this. Payman said mass mandates and social distancing are evidence that it is not safe enough to send his kid to school. And like Deb told you earlier, the masking decision will take effect in all Jefferson City schools starting tomorrow. For now, reporting live in Holt Summit, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Layla, thank you. And